welcome to our creative lesson. So this afternoon we are going to paper mache our buckets. So we're going to learn children to cover our buckets with a paste and it's going to be like a sticky paste and for that we're going to use flour and water. And the reason why we're doing this children is to help our buckets become really nice and strong. So we don't want them to be flimsy, we don't want them to break or be soft. So by doing this and covering them in a paste and paper, it makes them really nice and hard, which is what we will need for next week when it comes to decorating our buckets. So for our lesson, we are going to need some stripped pieces of paper, a cup of flour, half a tablespoon of salt, a bowl to mix everything in, a fork or a spoon or a wooden, um, a wooden spoon if you have one, and then our buckets that we have made earlier last week, and then some water. So you'll need a cup of water, children. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bucket and put it to one side, and then go to get my bowl, and I'm then going to pour my cup of flour, just one cup of flour, it can be any type of flour, and I'm going to pour it into the bowl, like this. I'm then going to get my fork, and I'm going to get my cup of water. Now I have filled my cup all the way up with warm water and I've used warm water just to help it easier to mix when you are mixing it in the flour. So I'm only going to pour half of the cup. So you might need your mummies and daddies to help you with this at home or one of your family members to help you make the paste. So, but what I would really like you to do is have a go at the mixing because I think you'll enjoy it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of the water in just like this thing has. So I've poured some of the water in my bowl and I've left some of the water in my cup. And we do this, children, so that if we pour some of it, if we pour all of it in and it becomes wrong, we won't have to restart again. By only pouring a little bit in, it helps us to control how thick the paste is going to be and we need it to be quite thick. So once I've poured my water in, we're going to stir, stir it with my fork until it becomes quite lumpy. Now, if you can see that there is no more water, just like Miss Sings, but there's still lots of flour, that means there needs to be a lot more water in our bowl. So I'm going to get my cup again, and I'm only going to pour a little bit in. So I'm going to pour a little bit more in, and I'm going to stir it, the bowl again. And now, children, you can start to see it's becoming like a thick dough. Now, we don't want it as a dough. We want it as like a slimy paste. So it's not ready yet because it's become becoming a thick dough. So I'm going to get my cup of water again and I'm going to pour some more in. And I'm going to stir. Now you'll need your muscles for this one, so make sure you get the stir in. And you'll notice, children, it's quite gloopy. It's quite sticky and gloopy. So make sure you cover your tables with some cloth like Miss Singh has, because you don't want this going all over your normal lovely tables. So, mine's is still quite thick and chunky, as you can see, and there's still lumps in it, and we need our paste to have no lumps, children. So I'm going to add some more water, and I'm going to keep stirring. And you just have to keep stirring, children, until you notice there are no more clumps. So you've got to look in the bowl for no more clumps. So we're just going to keep stirring. I think I'm nearly there. So I'm going to go round in a circle and I'm holding my fork nice and tightly at the top and I'm just stirring, stirring, stirring. A bit like we're baking a cake. So I would say, children, that's pretty much done because there's, a, there's not very many lumps in there but it's still nice and thick, as you can still, it's a bit runny, but it's a bit sticky at the same time. So, once we have done that, we're going to get our bucket. But missing the nearly forgotten ingredient. We need our salt. Now, the reason we put salt into our mix, children, is to stop our buckets going all green and mouldy. And we don't want that because with flour, we can, be, we can make our buckets mouldy. So the salt helps to stop it from going mouldy. So I'm just going to sprinkle my salt all over the dough, just like that. I'm gonna put that to one side and I'm going to stir it again. And this just helps it to stop going green and moldy. Okay, so now we're ready to the fun part. So I've got my paste 
I have got my bucket and I'm going to roll my sleeves up and I'm going to get my paper. Now my paper, for my paper, I've just used some plain white paper because that's what I have at home. If you have newspaper, you can use newspaper or if you have other scraps of paper, like colored paper that you want, that you want to put in the recycling bin and, you need to, and you're going to not use it anymore, you can use that at home too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my strip, I'm going to stick it in my bowl, I'm going to make sure all the flour is on top of it, just like that. And then children, with my fingers, I'm going to rub the flour down. But I'm going to make sure that it's still got flour covered on it. So it still needs to be all sticky. Can you see? So even though I've taken the flour off it with my hands, I've just slid my hand down, it's still got flour on it. All we're doing is taking that, that excess flour off. And then children, what we're going to do is we're going to cover, start covering our buckets. So we've got to smooth it out and make sure it's nice and flat against our bucket. And what you're going to do, children, is we're going to do this all the way in our bucket and outside our bucket. So Miss Sink has done it on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put my paper in and I'm going to grab my fingers again, a bit like, uh, like this shape, and then I'm going to slide my hand down. This is my favorite part because it's nice and messy. And then children, I'm going to stick it to my bucket, just like that. Now, remember I said to make sure you have something on your table because this is where it becomes the messy part. So again, I'm going to make sure my paper gets into the bowl, hold my paper at the top with one hand and I'm going to slide it down with another. Now, if you find this quite tricky, you could ask one of your family members to help you at home with this. And then once you've done that, just make sure it's all off. And I'm going to take it off my hand as well by scraping it against the side. So once I've done that, I'm going to then put it over the side like this, spread it out, making sure it's nice and flat and, and it's stuck down to my bucket. So what I'm going to do now, children, is I'm going to cover the whole of my bucket inside and the outside and I'm going, but not the, not the handle because we don't need that covering, just the bucket, the plastic part of the bucket. So you can do the handle if you want to as well. So I'm going to make sure it's all covered with, with our paper and our flour. So Miss Thing's going to do that now. <laughs>
So now, children, what I am doing is I've turned my my um, bucket over because I have done the inside of my bucket and the outside, and now I want to do on top. So I'm turning it over, and I'm going to do underneath my bucket. children and all of the inside oh this things might have just missed a little bit here so just make sure children that you do get all of the plastic because otherwise when it comes to painting or coloring them in it means that they won't be very strong so you need to make sure that you've got all your paper completely covered with paste so it sticks nice and hard so I have done my inside and my outside a bucket. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my handle as well. So I'm going to get some more pieces of paper. <laughs> again like we have been doing rubbing the paste down making sure that we've got all the drips off it and then I get my handle and I start with the top and then I roll it I fold it all the way around a bit like a snake a bit like a yo-yo as well making sure all the plastic is covered so I think I just need one more because I can see a little bit of plastic there now what you'll also notice children is that your bucket has become really heavy. So if you try to lift it, you'll notice it's quite hard to lift because it's become so heavy with all the paper and paste. So mine's is definitely heavier. And I'm just gonna make sure all the paste is taken off my handle, my string. And there we are children. So, so that now we have covered our inside and our outside bucket children with paste. We are going to now leave it to dry. So to leave it to dry, what, I, what I'm going to ask you to do is can you find an old piece of cardboard that you can put it on top of, or you can do what Miss Thing's doing is, which is going, I'm going to put mine on a plate mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, put it somewhere in my kitchen really safe so that it can dry. Now, it will take about a day to dry, so you mustn't touch it while it's drying, okay? You've got to just leave it alone and then tomorrow when you come and check on it, it should be really hard and dry. It won't be wet no more, but while it is wet, we have to leave it alone, okay? So if you have a go at this lesson, could you please take a picture and upload it to Tapestry? Because me and the rest of the team would love to see how you get on learning how to use paper mache. All right, so I'll see you soon. Bye.